there everyone and welcome. I'm Kareth. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I like to develop recipes using freeze-dried foods and I make a lot of meals in jars to fill my pantry with quick and easy lunch and dinner options. Today's recipe is for a creamy broccoli cheese soup and I developed this one for my daughter who is kind of obsessed with Panera soup. <laughs> I wanted to be able to send a few jars with her back to school. She's in college and I wanted the jars to be super easy to prepare, not too much cleanup, but also just be really filling and delicious. So here is my attempt at broccoli cheese soup as a meal in a jar. It's a just add water recipe. I'm starting with a pint sized jar because I don't want her to have too many leftovers. I just want a couple of servings is all. I'm gonna go ahead and put the mirepoix in the blender and get that really small, the onions, celery, carrots. Most of the time, this type of soup, they'll put an immersion blender in the soup after it cooks to blend it up and make it really smooth. But we can do that on the front end because it's freeze dried ingredients and they're really easy to powder up. So I like to blend it first before I cook it. And also it makes for a lot more room in that jar. Now I should have blended the cheese as well. I don't know why I didn't, I just kind of forgot to, and I regretted it later and I'll talk about that in a minute. But our Thrive Life cheese sauce is also very delicious, helps to round out that cheese flavor. Now I'm putting a lot of different ingredients in here that help to make this a very creamy soup. So not only the bechamel sauce, but also milk, heavy cream powder, a little bit of sour cream and butter. It's just all gonna make a really nice and creamy soup. Now our chicken bouillon powder is delicious. If you're using a different brand, you might cut back on that just a little bit. Here comes the broccoli. Okay, I put a heaping cup of our broccoli, which is fantastic. <laughs> I put that in the same blender cup because if you blend that up, see it didn't take hardly any time at all and it's just really fine. If you blend that up, you can get a lot more broccoli into this jar. It's gonna be a lot more concentrated, the broccoli flavor. And I'm gonna also include some broccoli florets at the top of the jar because I know some people do like not only the texture of the broccoli florets, but also just seeing those in their soup. It's really pretty. So you can put as much as you can fit at the top of that jar. These seasonings will make this soup fantastic. Not only are they delicious, like the dry mustard makes cheese taste cheesier, and of course, salt and pepper, a little bit of kick from the cayenne, that turmeric makes it a beautiful golden color. It's just a great blend of spices there. And you might have to kind of smush it down just a little bit with the back of your measuring cup, but it does fit in the jar. And I'm gonna go ahead and include an oxygen absorber in there. I don't have to worry about those ingredients going bad. So here it is, the broccoli cheese soup mix in a jar. But just look at those layers, isn't that pretty? I think that's so pretty. And the idea is, if you like this, you try it, you like it, go ahead and make up two or three at a time. That's what I did for Hallie to send these back with her to school. Teddy Bear came in and he was very hopeful that I had dropped something on my kitchen floor that he could help clean up. <laughs> He's such a sweetie. All right, so when she's ready to make this at her apartment, all she's gonna have to do is get a medium size soup pot and just empty the contents of the jar into the pot and then add water. For this amount of soup, it's just four cups of water. And then she'll need to stir it really well. A lot of those sauce powders in there are gonna tend to clump up on you. So just be patient with it, stir it. 
if you see a little clump of powder just kind of smoosh it against the side of the pot and eventually it will combine then you're going to need to put that on a medium heat and bring it to a boil i didn't do that i put it on high and it it heated up too fast and my cheese split that has never happened to me before with this freeze-dried food, but I did it to myself. I, I heated it too fast, so don't do that. When cheese splits, what happens is like the fat kind of squeezes out of the cheese before it completely melts and it separates. So it, it looked kind of funny. I mean, it tastes good, but it looks funny. So don't be like me. Just heat that up on a medium heat, bring it to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer and let it go for maybe 10 minutes or so. I ended up adding some heavy cream to this because I thought it might improve the way it looked a little bit. And it did, I thought it helped a little bit. I don't know if you add heavy cream to pretty much anything, it's gonna taste even better. <laughs> so I do recommend that if you have some, add it. You could add half and half as well. But give this a taste and see what you think. Now is a good time to add just a few broccoli florets at the very end, let them sit for just a couple of minutes and then they will kind of float in the top of your soup and it just makes it look really pretty. But it's ready to serve at this time and you can top this with some additional shredded cheese or whatever you wanna put on there. I put some cheese on here and I thought, well, that looks kind of funny when it melted it looked kind of funny i don't know i just maybe i was just having an off day here guys i don't know but the soup tastes wonderful i stirred that melted cheese in and it looked a little bit better so it tastes amazing thrive life broccoli is fantastic Okay guys, I'll include my full recipe and my shopping link in the description box below. And I hope y'all give this a try. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Y'all be blessed. And until next time, y'all take care and keep thriving.